all right, y'all really helped me see that. There's nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory for you. Hey, like, that's yo. fine for you, but that's not okay for me. That's my preference. I, Who the hell did you think you are? I don't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory on the first day. That's why y'all ass don't get shit, because y'all don't have no f***ing standards. You're always going to accept whatever it get to you. I don't accept what it gets to me. I'm going to tell the nigga what I want. Again, the entitlement. Like, and this ties into the topic of the video today, but let's, let's get into it. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That lets me know if you liked the video. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And without further ado, let's get into the clip. Why y'all all right? Y'all really helped me see that. There's nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory for you. What? That's fine for you, but that's not okay for me. That's my preference. I Who the hell did you think you are? I don't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory on the first day. That's why y'all ass don't get shit, because y'all don't have no f***ing standards. You're always going to accept whatever it gets to you. I don't accept what it gets to me. I'm going to tell the nigga what I want, okay? And I get what I want. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, if you let him take you to the Cheesecake Factory, he's going to Cheesecake Factory you to death. You'll never experience Maestro. You'll never experience Ocean Prime, because you just let him Take you wherever you want to take you. Oh, I'll go wherever. Uh, I, I'm just happy to be out. I'm just happy to be on a date. And again, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. I love the Cheesecake Factory food. I go there all the time with my friends and my family. I love the Cheesecake Factory food. I go there all the time with my friends and my family. I love the Cheesecake Factory food. I go there all the time with my friends and my family. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. But as a man for a date, that is a low standard. I love the Cheesecake Factory food. I go there all the time with my friends and my family. I don't care. I did all that. Oh, I was, we were supposed to get to know each other. We can. So this ties into the overall message that I'm going to talk about on today's video. Exhibit A, this comment was on my last video. And if you haven't seen my last video, pause this one, go watch that one, then come back over here. Let's read his comment. This comment is from Ben Nathan 7353. And he says, I hope I got your name right, by the way. He says, some good advice to women on how to become a 10. However, being a 10 is not only about looks, it's about attitude too. Her attitude was a two. The fact that she wanted a man with money and that she openly said that she wouldn't pay for anything. It's a red flag for men with money. The minute she starts willing to contribute is the minute men with money will be interested in in her case in point this woman was entitled and she is not a 10 but even if she looked good her attitude was down the toilet this is why i chose to highlight this comment and another comment that's gonna tie everything together on what i'm trying to say a lot of the times, men, we look at women by looks alone. And looks alone does not mean a woman is a 10. A woman can be a 10 and not look that good. Let's take it a step further. Women and men, most of us, if not all of us, are average. We, we rate between maybe the 6, 7, and 8 rating scale. 
I would say for a woman, a 10 is beyond sign. I'm not sure what a million 10 would be, but let's go with Morris Chestnut just for the sake of example. So if Morris Chestnut is a male 10 and Beyonce is a female 10, how many of us realistically match those comparisons? It's all about your attitude. Even if you're a bigger woman, if you have a good attitude, and see, let let me break this down for women that are watching, because I know women watch this channel. You don't have to look like Beyonce to be a 10. You know how you become a 10? Not just by looking after your mental and physical health. Not just by going to the gym and eating right. But by having a good attitude. Being humble. Being approachable. Being available. Being open. Not walking around with a chip on your shoulder. Being able to look at a man and look and see. Okay, What can I give to this man? What can I impart into this man? The man is like, ladies, being a man is tough. We go out every single day with the world on our shoulders. I'm going to say that one more time. Being a man is rough. We go out into the world every single day. And we have the world on our shoulders. The least you can do as a woman is make our lives easier. We don't ask for much. But a lot of women act like they can't even do the bare minimum. Cook clean, take care of the house. Is that even hard? It's not. But yet you're wondering why you're not getting married. You're wondering why you're not getting a husband. You're wondering why you're not married by now. Bad attitude. Let's look at the next comment, which will tie everything together. Let's look at it. This comment comes from what is right. Shout out to you, sir. As important as looks are, attitude is the real issue. You could be big and a 10 if you play your cards and act right. But being big means you have to also carry that weight around. That weight well could be a big face 20. See, this is what I'm saying. Ladies, fix your attitude. I don't want to hear about the world is against black women and black women are the most hated women on the face of the earth because let, let's address that. Bring it on, black women. Bring it on because I'm here to tell you, you are not the worst hated in America. You really are. Let, let's break that down really quickly. I hear a lot of black women say that they're the most hated woman on the face of the planet. And you wonder why? Have you ever stopped to look at what you're doing to the race of black America? Have you ever stopped to look at how you are destroying the black family? How you have turned your back on black men? how you have destroyed the black family way back in the day with Gloria Steinem and feminism? Have you ever stopped to think that you are exposing yourself for the world to see by being a thought and an OnlyFans model and you justify it by saying, my body, my choice? Are you serious right now? And then you wonder why other races don't respect you. 
You wonder why when you go to China or Japan or an Asian country, they ask you, oh, well, do you twerk? Like, let's keep it a bunk here. Let's keep it 100. In the early 2000s, 1980, 85, 90, early 2000s, yes, you were exploited. Now, you're exploiting yourselves. But yet, you want respect from your own race of man. And you want the respect of other groups of men. But yet you don't respect yourself. How can a group of women that don't even respect themselves demand respect from another group of men of men and their own group of men? But yet you don't respect yourself. You don't respect yourself enough to put your clothes on. You don't respect yourself enough to humble yourself and treat your men with respect. You don't have that. But that's a topic for a whole nother video. And see, this is the reason why a good attitude is better than good looks. Because what are you going to do once your looks fade, because regardless of whether you believe it or not, your looks are going to fade away. But if you have a humble attitude, you have a good spirit, you have a loving character, you have a great attitude, that will withstand the test of time. And I'm going to leave you with this. A good attitude is better than good looks any day. I would rather have a good attitude than a baddie. That's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload new content. And until next time, tell somebody the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Peace.